do, kitten. Squeaky wakey. Hello, come on. Come here. Hey, babies. I get in there. Okay, kittens, climb the toe. Okay, you ready? You can go look, Mama. Yes, yes, yes. Just slid right down, huh, Amber? Little topaz. Hey, Alexander. You see a plate, huh? And you're wondering what's uh, on the what's the deal with this plate? It's mainly just easier to clean up. Go and check it out, guys. They're <laughs> like, this ain't the mushy stuff. You can actually walk on this plate. There you go, Topaz. Amber's like, I already do that. You haven't heard from me in a while, Jasper. Your brother Alexander did yesterday, for I think the first time. Specifically from being petted. Amber is off the bottle. Nobody got, nobody needed any supplements last night or yesterday. I seen Amber going at the food bowl for three minutes and then drinking. <laughs> yep. 
You want to be a mod, huh? You want to be a mod, too, huh? That hey boy. Let me show you how fuzzy Topaz is. You see, this is with face fluff. No face fluff. <laughs> Topaz is the fluffiest face fluffer that we have. Everyone, all the boys have passed the one pound mark. Kind I hear was just a tenth of a pound or a tenth of an ounce shy, and amber was three tenths. So I expect that will everybody will be one pound today, tomorrow at the latest. You missed the face fluff demo. Okay, listen up, guys. Face fluff demo. If you miss this one, now this one will be even closer. You'll have to resort to the DVR. Okay, this is Topaz and his fluff-tascular glory. No fluff. Fluff. <laughs> no fluff. He <laughs> looks like a totally different kitten when he's been defluffed. Hey, it looks like we're, we have consistent good litter box usage. For two days running. Quit, not quit typing. Quit sitting. No emoji. Grr. He's like, I'll fluff you. That is Amber, I believe, and Kyanite here. Amber has the larger brown spots on the bottom of the feet. You gonna purr? They definitely like their cheek and ears to be rubbed.
Oh, you almost broke skin. You're getting a good jaw there. Now, none of my cats are suitable for the fosters. Pretty much the only ones that were suitable were Kugra and Savvy. And they both passed. I am not ruling out adopting an adult cat to take over Uncle Cougar's role, <clears throat> but it most likely won't be anytime soon. Just mainly because Uncle Cougar had some pretty big shoes to fill. Yep, that's Amber. Amber has a tiny smaller face. Has someone applied for Gamora? No, because we're not accepting applications yet for anybody. But someone has expressed interest in Gamora. I'm getting a lot of people expressing interest in the kittens. Oh, you're playing with that green ball. Sorry. I thought you were doing, about to do something inappropriate in the corner. But you were just playing. But pay close attention when we get close to the neuter spade date because spade day is, tends to be the day that we start accepting applications. And do not delay or postpone sending it in. Your best odds of getting, even though the deadline tends to be like Thursday, your, your, your odds are better if you get it in within the first 24 hours. Pairs will have priority over singles, but Perfect Pals does not have a pair only requirement. But that's also based on the personalities of the kittens that people want to pair. You know, if somebody wants to pair a kitten that's better not be it paired, then that won't happen. That's why we also say put down any common <coughs> excuse me, put down all the kittens and any combinations that you're willing to do. Because if you don't get picked for your first combination, you might get picked for your second. But if you don't put a second, you're just out of the running. Sorry, Jean. Ejection seat activated. Psh. 
I still don't know what happened to the green triple. Now there's a lot, I'm not, I'm asked about my opinion, but it's a shelter that makes choices. Um, there's a lot of different factors that the shelter looks into. And like one of the things that can give yourself a little boost is volunteering with an animal rescue of some kind. Maker. Yeah, if you're a guy and you like cats and dogs and critters in general, Get into rescue, but get into rescue, you know, volunteer with the animal shelter with the intention of helping make a difference. But I'll tell you one thing, animal rescue is full of girls. That's not why I did it. I did it for the kittens. Somebody's pooping Amber, getting rid of all that kibble she had. Amber has the cutest little squeals when she when she's using the bathroom. Very faint squeals. She grunts kitty style. Terrific, I had the exact same thought. <laughs> it ain't cover good enough. Uh, you're making me touch it with my fingers. Well, just a litter. Clean litter, I hope. Yeah, watching the kitten cam, it really is kitten therapy. It can help reduce 
blood pressure. Though I like to put in the disclaimer that fostering kittens does not reduce blood pressure, it increases it. Fierce Amber! Fierce Amber! Best time to see Jelly Bellies is not to ask for Jelly Bellies. It's like Fight Club. So about this time. Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly, woo! Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly, forward flip. Hey, my mom. Every litter is different, too. And I like, I'm really good at problem solving, and every mama has a problem to solve. Figuring out what they like, what they don't like, what protocols they have for accessing their kittens, that sort of thing. Hey, Mama. Amber's chasing down Kibble. I think as far as Gamora's protocols, she pretty much has none. She was perfectly happy with wherever the kittens were. I don't think I've, I've never, actually I know, I've never seen her try, even try to pick up a kitten. Actually, she does have some protocols. She is extremely <sighs> anal about keeping the butts clean. <laughs> Topaz still has a bit of a froggy, but not very much. His legs still splay out to the side, but he has them under control. Gamora will actually come if you call her too. If you call her like a dog, she comes faster. Like, here girl, come here. Come here, come here Gamora. She's like, I'm eating. There's, there's always exceptions. And for a bit there, she was even cleaning the litter boxes of the poop. And this was not milk poop that comes from nursing kittens, which is I is rumored to be more palatable <laughs> than poop that comes from kitten food. When will they, be, will they be too old to do the Jelly Belly dance? When they do, when they decide they're too old. Alexander was curling up next to Fogra here. Okay, Fogra, let's do our kitten flattening paw. Huh. Huh.
Hey, my man. Hey, baby. How you doing? Her abscess, she had a really old abscess on her side. It's fully healed. It basically involved cutting the top off of it and just letting it air out. Mama has her crazy banana. She's on cam three. Ejection. <laughs> Are you playing with a kibble? He's like a whole bunch of kibble right there. I go get your sibling. That's it. Upside down attack kitten. <coughs> Defend your brother. I will save you Alexander and I will sacrifice Topaz. <laughs> Don't bite me. Yeah, Gamora is extremely laid back and relaxed. She's a lap cat too, even though she hasn't actually sat in my lap in a while. Your eyes are starting to turn. Yeah, there's a shelter challenge going on. Um, you can find a link to it just below the video description. And if you have not heard about YouTube gaming, there is another URL for it where you can view this kitten cam on what I believe to be a better experience. You can get the video to go larger and the chat's easier to read. Get him, Amber. Or not. You're going to do a death from above. Get him. Let's shoot. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> and a girl, don't mess with my amber. Kainet's having a drink of water. Yeah, the gaming mode is also really good if you like watching multiple kitten cams or live streams because it it allows you to resize it the window better and still have a good view of the video and the chat I, I typically have four cams up on each monitor
Yeah, Topaz has top two lines under his chin. Jasper has a chin strap. Alexander has a really fuzzy chin strap. Kyanite has a broken chin strap. Amber has also a broken chin strap. Yeah, you can. Another way to get to it is just replace the www in the URL with the word gaming. If you're on the PC, there is a separate app for devices for a gaming mode. Uh oh, Amber's playing with the P pads. Topaz has a tiny dot on the roof of his mouth, tiny dark spot. And people don't realize is that how cats can have patterns to their coat, their mouth can have patterns too. Are you getting sleepy, Alexander? Yeah, from above. <laughs> yeah, I use a regular app on my phone. Somebody's growing a pair. Yes, you are. Yeah, I believe that all the gray kittens are going to be medium to long hair, and Jasper will be a medium hair. I did trim their front claws so they're less likely to hurt each other that way. Although trimming an extreme taking the sharp point off of a thin needle is still going to be sharp. Jasper, you cuddling up a fogra?
Shake it up, boy. <laughs> Someone landed in the water bowl. See, Mom was very attentive. She heard that and she came running. It's okay, Mom. But I do need to go now. Sorry, kiddos. Hey, Bet, sorry about that. That was Topaz who timed you out. B E T space L. He did it. In five minutes, you'll be able to chat again. <laughs> that was the first timeout caused by a kitten. So, Bet, that was actually kind of a big honor. You could say you were the first person to be timed out by a kitten. At least on my cam. Maybe every cam. You were the first. You were the trendsetter. You were the unlucky sap. Enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day. <laughs>